Hey guys, I'm Charan from Just Ready Things. In this video, let's take a look at how to make procedural styrofoam material. If you look at some references, we can tell that there is a Voronoi pattern. So let's start by adding a Voronoi texture and with Node Triangular add-on enabled, press Ctrl T to add a texture coordinate node and a mapping node. Let's change mapping to object coordinates and increase the scale of Voronoi to 200 and decrease the randomness to 0.7 to make the packing look more like styrofoam. Now let's add this to the bump. To do that, let's add a bump node and connect the distance to the height socket. And then connect the normal output of the bump node to the normal input of the principal shed. We can see that bump is too high. Let's decrease the distance input to bring down the bump to a more realistic level. A value of 0.005 works well for the scene. Let's invert the Voronoi texture using an invert node. Now to control the profile of the bump, Let's connect this to a float curve and change the profile to be more rounded. You can change the interpolation to auto clamp to make sure the curve doesn't overshoot. For roughness, let's add a noise texture and connect the mapping node to it. Let's change the scale to 50 and detail to 5. Let's also increase the distortion to 0.2. We can see that the roughness is continuous along the surface. Since styrofoam is made of individual foam particles, the roughness is not continuous. It's different for each cell. To achieve that, we can add the random color of Voronoi texture to the vector input of the noise texture. To do that, let's add a vector math node set to add mode to the mapping of noise texture and connect the color output of Voronoi to the second socket. We can see that the noise is shifted in each cell by a random amount. By default, the noise texture is mapped between 0.2 to 0.8. So let's remap it to different values using a map range node. I'm going to go with 0.4 to 0.8. Now let's connect this to the roughness channel. Let's also use this to give variation to bump. To do that, add a mix RGB node and change it to subtract. Now let's connect the map range node to the second socket. We can now change the factor to make it more pronounced. To make it more realistic, let's add displacement. Add a displacement node and connect it to the displacement output. Now let's connect the mix output to the height socket of the displacement node. For this object, I am setting the mid-level to 0 and the scale to 0 0.005. Make sure you have displacement set to displacement and bump in material settings in the end panel. By default, it will be bump. The final step is to add subsurface scattering. Let's open the subsurface drop-down and increase the weight all the way up to 1. By default, the radius is set to skin, to 1. And that's it. That's how we make styrofoam. You can find this material on my Patreon. Link is in the description. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing and give this video a like. Thanks for watching.